Alright, we have the CZ P0940. Duty. No mag. And it has been safety checked. There's nothing nothing in it. Back straps. Small, medium, and large. The one that is on it. Uh, makes it feel a lot like the CZ 75B. They come with two 15 round mags. This one, I uh, swapped over to the safety. It originally came with the decarker. There's good things about this and bad things. Um, CZ, I really like. Um, this one is just like an EOCZ. It shoots really, really good. Fits well in your hand. I noticed this by accident. I doubt you can see it. It's worse with a decocker in than with the uh, safety. When it, it is in double action, let's see if it'll show up here. Mm. No, you probably can't see it. It's worse with the decocker than the safety. Right here will actually bulge out. I will be contacting CZ on Monday to ask him about it. But other than that, it is very nice. Uh, this is the 40 version. Uh, shoots really, really good. I have the VP40. It will actually outshoot it. Uh, recoil wise, I think the VP has it beat a little bit. But not by much. Here is the decocker. It makes a big difference switching from the decocker to the safety. Uh, the double action is really nice right now. Single action, I mean, very, very smooth. No, that, that that's all there is. Uh, with a decocker in it, it uh, it makes makes it a lot uh, a lot tighter. I would say with a decocker, you're looking about ten pounds easily on the double action. Uh, right now, I would say that would probably be five to six in a single action I mean maybe three it is it's a good uh, of course you know you get uh, your target here which is actually pretty neat from uh, where it was test fired at 25 meters not too bad. And like I said, I went and put uh, about a hundred rounds through it today. Um, when I first got it, it was very dry. Took it apart and cleaned it, lubed it up, and uh, it shot real well. Like, and just so I was, I noticed that little bulge when you pull the trigger. I mean the. I said right now it is not that noticeable with the safety in it, but with the decocker it is quite noticeable. Uh, took it, brought it back, took it apart, and cleaned it. Uh, there was some metal shavings in there. I'm guessing that's from where it was uh, manufactured. Maybe they uh, 
missile. Um, once again, I have to contact CZ and see what to say about that. But uh, that was kind of surprising, to tell the truth. You know, I've got HK, SIGs, and they've all been, you know, just about perfect. Uh, no, no disappointed in that. Uh, but, you know, that's the way manufacturing is. You know, maybe they just missed it that day. Not really too worried about the metal shavings. Uh, the only thing, you know, is the bulging of the frame right here. As you can see, the mag, well, I mean, the polymer is just not, it's not very thick, kind of thin. So I don't know if that's a characteristic of this gun or if it's an actual defect. So like I said, we have to wait and see what they say on that. But uh, like I said, as far as shooting, it shoots great. Um, uh, ch changing out the decocker to the safety is not hard at all. Um, as you can see, it's cocked right there. Safety is on. It will not fire. Boom. There you go. And one thing about CZs, if the hammer is not cocked back, you cannot put the safety on. It's still, the double action will still work. You cannot put the safety on. And you half cock it, safety goes on. They do have the luminescent sights uh, that lights like the uh, HK. Uh, they r will glow for probably, I'd say, at least 45 minutes to an hour. Uh, you hit them with a good, good flashlight. This one will go for close to an hour. Um, you even send it by the nightstand, let the just the uh, clock, throw some light on it, it will glow. Uh, as you can see, the top side here kind of narrows down. Serrations, rear, and front. Little pads here for you know, put your finger with, not on the trigger. Uh, slide release, like I said, your choice, safety or decocker, however you prefer. And the grip panels, it is by the mainspring, so you have to be careful when you push this roll pin out, because the mainspring will come out, but it's no real big deal. Uh, so I came with cleaning kit. Yeah. But it's uh, it's nice. It shoots really well. But like I said, the only thing I'm really worried about is right here the frame bowing it, bowing out. When you pull it in double action, single action, it will not do it. So maybe it's just because the polymer is so thin. But we'll have to wait and see. But it, uh, I said, 100, 100 rounds a day at 10 yards, uh, mm. shooting at the bullseye, 30 rounds, 27 or touching. Mm -hmm. So that's, uh, that's hard to beat. So hopefully, uh, Hopefully they'll tell me there's nothing really wrong, wrong with it. Maybe they want me to send it back in. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. Um, I know Cajun uh, Gunworks makes a bunch of aftermarket stuff for this. Different uh, hammer and trigger kits and everything. Uh, I've been asked uh, about a threaded barrel. Um, 
currently there's no one available for a 40, but they are for a 9. Uh, Cajun Gun Works says that uh, the 9 will work, is interchangeable, just have to get different mags, that it will work. But CZ Custom tells me that it will fit, but will have a issue with the extractor. Mm, I can, you know, I can, I can see that, you know, nine's a little, a little smaller than the 40. Maybe the extractor will or will not work. Uh, I've seen online, you know, where they say they have no problems with it. So. We'll have to wait and see on that uh, once we figure out uh, what's up with the flex in the frame right here. Uh, if you have one, uh, check and see if it does it. Uh, like I said, it was just by accident that I actually found that. So, I don't know. Unless it's single action, it does not do it. And with the uh, trigger bar being right here, and with the decocker in it, the trigger pull is so much more till it's making it flex out. And like I said, it does it just a little with the safety in it, but n not as bad with the decocker in it. It is quite noticeable. I mean, you can see it bow out from here all the way to here. So, I don't know. Like I said, hopefully uh, nothing major there, but we'll, we'll see. So. Let me close up here. But I will say for a double action, single action, um, once you put the uh, safety in, it's one of the best triggers out there for a hammered fired gun. Um, you know, of course, you can't compare striker fire to hammered fire, obviously, but uh, it's it's pretty close. Uh, I put it, uh, like I said, I got a SIG 320, I've got an HK VP40, uh, and, and actually for, I, I would put it in between. The HK is probably one of the best ones out there next to the PPQ, and I would put this between the SIG 320 and the uh, VP. And of course you get your rail. You know, the full size gun, uh, you could conceal carry it, but, uh, you know, it'd be kind of hard, but I mean, you could. I mean, it doesn't weigh a whole lot, but still, you know, it's, it's just so big to, you know, more of a outside the waistband carry. It just depends if, uh, you can do that or not, you know, a lot of states, you know, don't allow that. Some do, some don't. But uh that would uh outside the waistband it would be just you know perfect for that. So uh you know sight wise, uh supposedly the shadow C Z shadow sights will interchange with his gun. Uh, like holster wise the, the PO7 the, which is this one's baby brother they're pretty much all the same uh, like Phobos I said the PO7 PO9 exact same holster so. all in all I mean for the money it's really hard to beat uh, I got this from Bud's it was three hundred and eighty nine dollars so I mean for for that money you that's that's really hard to beat so 
Anyway, if you're in the market for a really good gun for less than four hundred dollars, check out the CZ. Uh, like I said, the only r bad thing I've seen is the bowling out right here with the uh, decocker assault. So, like I said, we'll uh, we'll get with CZ, see what it say about it. Uh, like I said, put the safety in it, and it does not do it nearly as bad just just a hair bit um, racking the slide uh, it's not that bad you know it is smaller because it does ride inside the frame instead of outside the frame but uh, my kids uh, my boys and daughter even my wife can do it with uh, yeah, not too much effort you know but uh very good gun. Like I said, that's that's one of that's really got me concerned. So like I said, uh even the trigger guard here, it's got serrations on the front. Uh, nice mag release. Doesn't doesn't get any way and the mags come out you know pretty quickly on these. I mean that's that's pretty good pretty nice this gun was actually you know it's intended for duty use you know military law enforcement security and like I said it uh, it meets the, meets the bill for that and they I'm not sure there's some sort of poly coat that CZ calls this um, you can actually go on YouTube and look at one of uh, CZ's videos and it is very scratch resistant he he actually takes a spent shell casing scratches it across the top of the slide and it, it leaves a mark and he just rubs it and it goes away um, it, it is very very durable uh, I've seen some videos out there where there's I forget the youtubers and, name but he's got over 4,000 rounds in one with no issues uh, and he has just a little little wear from coming out of the holster on the end but he's had no issues at all and like I said I mean as far as function wise I mean no issues but like I said that's that's the only thing that's going to be a little concerned is that so uh, we'll have to wait and see what CZ says. Uh, but other than that, very good gun. Um, I have not had the opportunity to shoot a FN8. Uh, their uh, FN hammer fired version. But uh, I guess that would be is probably closest competition. I know the FNP they don't make it anymore and I guess the FNX is uh, the newest one but you know CZ has been making good stuff for a long time so, but usually you know they use alloy metal frames and not polymer so maybe it's just a side effect of it being so thin Like I said, what do I see? But uh, other than that, been a really good gun. Uh, and uh, I'll post an update uh, when CZ tells me what uh, what we should do to b do about that, if anything.